What is going on you guys? Today I have a very exciting video for you. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to repair the battery terminals of any Seiko Melodies in Motion wall clock. Now it is a very common issue nowadays where if you flip your clock over and the battery terminals are rusted due to the original batteries leaking, and it doesn't look good. And now it's not going to work. So this side I think is fine. Usually it's both sides that are messed up, but in this case, it's only this side. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. And what I use to fix it is I'll link this in the description, but I actually get these battery packs. Um, I get these on Amazon for, I think around 10, nine, 10 bucks. I'm sure there's other, if you could find like some item that you like don't care about anymore with C or D battery terminals, um, you could probably use that as well. But this is just what I use and what has worked for me. So the first thing we want to do is we want to remove all the screws that are holding the, the back plate of the clock in place. So that for the you, we're going to go ahead and start with that. There is a little bit of soldering involved, as you might expect with this uh, repair. Now, depending on your clock, this is one of the uh, rotating dial neck clocks, but this could this will work with any clock with C or D batteries. I believe this one is C. Because I fixed a, uh, a QXM128 BRH. I did actually a slight repair video on it, or I did like kind of like a step-by-step, step, or not really step-by-step, step, just like kind of like a progressional video, like just showing the process of the repair. But this one's more like a tutorial. So once you unscrew all the screws, you gently pop the back off. And depending on which model you have, the back will either come off or there will be some wires that are attached to it, but you should just be able to take it off here. What often happens is the corrosion actually probably gonna be these ones but the wires actually also get corroded and these wires rust and they might need to be replaced I'm not sure if that's the case but what we can do is we can replace the terminals and then find out I'm just going to simply remove them and snap them off or whatever just I'm doing it with a paper towel so so yeah, I will take this off for now, so I don't damage it. So. so. And I'm gonna clean up the battery compartment before I put some new ones in. I'm gonna go ahead and unsolder this wire. And let's see if we can solder it onto the new terminal successfully. Just go on like so. <clears throat> so I'll be right back. I'm gonna head ahead and glue these on now. So to give it a quick test to see if it worked or not, we can put batteries in and see if the carousel here starts rotating. And if it does, then it worked. Oh. Look at that, you guys.
Now these batteries are a little low, but as you can see, it did end up working. I don't know why this was rotated all the way to the side, but clearly it doesn't matter because it's resetting right now. Boom. This just goes on. I don't think this is gonna come off, unfortunately, but. And we're gonna need to wipe the front of it off too. Yeah, I don't wanna wipe this more. It's kinda of getting wet, so I don't wanna damage that. Also, I will say, the reason this worked is because these Seiko clocks are made so that if batteries are in one side, it'll still work. But if they're in this side, they'll also work. I think that's how every Seiko clock is made. I'm not sure why they did that, but um, nonetheless, that's just kind of how it is. And then we're going to clean the front of it. I wonder what pitch this one has. Probably normal pitch, but we'll see. I'm just drawing the paper towel. 